We're going to break down this classic Metallica song right now. And uh, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the YouTube channel, Marty Music. And then also I have some free courses that will really help your guitar playing. Uh, check those links below for that, and I appreciate that extra support. All right, let's break it down. All right, so the guitar is tuned a whole step down, but you play it like standard tuning. The intro, just remember, whole step down, but we play an A power chord. <laughs> And then we go to a B flat power chord, which is the first fret A string. So we get those chunk, chunk, chunk with the palm muting underneath. Not, but. Then we go to that chord, hit it again, back to the A. And so that lick you slide up to the seventh fret on the D string from, from the second fret. So seven, six, five. And then plant your index finger on the third fret D string. And then we're gonna trill while that's held down on that fifth fret D string. Back to the A power chord. And now the second one, I would recommend, it's up to you, but index finger, seven, six, five, three. And if you can grab the power chord there, that's what I'm hearing on the recording. So it's like a F power chord. So all together, the intro. Then a drum fill. Rack, caca, caca. So that riff is an E power chord. And still try and get that palm muting underneath your right palm. So it's not, you know, it's, sorry. Bum, bum, bum. Then, and so what we're doing is we're pulling off the fifth fret A string. 
then the first fret A string. <laughs> And then the third fret E string. And then it breaks it up with that little piece, which is a pull off on the fifth fret A string, but then back to that fifth fret. And you hit that twice. So the second time around, does it the second time and it bends up a half step and then back and then with that rat caca caca uh, drum fill and yes that'll be YouTube pooped at some point can't wait to see that uh, rat caca caca <laughs> when it does that you do that drum fill with with muted <laughs> muted strings you know focus on the uh, lowest three strings. So it does two more of the riff after that. Two of these. New part, verse, vocals come in. Man, they always come up with these great chunky, thrashy uh, metal riffs. Love it. So check it out. You've got an E. Think of it as the E note, really the open E string. Bum, bum, bup, up. And then a D power chord, but you can actually, it's really fast. You can get two notes that make up the D power chord with the open A and D string. That's a D type of D power, D5. But with the uh, fifth in the bass of that. But so you can go, I'm holding my finger there like an E power chord, but I'm mostly focused on. And so it's bum, bum, ba, ba, D. So E, 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 D, E, E. flat so check it out bum bum ba ba d e e e e e e e e e e flat uh, uh, one two three uh. from the top of that so that's how that verse rhythm goes and i think of it as da da one two three I count three to get to that B flat. I mean, ah, ah, one, two, three, you know, da, da, one, two, three, ba, dun, dun. So from the top, two, three, dun, dun, one, two, three, ba, and that's the B flat power chord, ring or pinky, but it's the first fret A, third fret D. back to the E. So B flat one time, E, E. Bum, 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 bum,
right, so from the top one time. <laughs> Next part, rhythmically, dun dun, make you real, yeah yeah yeah. So, bomb bomb on the open E, and then covering the A and D string together, da da. So, bomb bomb ta ta. Open on those strings. So dun 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 dun. Three three oh three two. Right back to chugging on the E. So check it out. One more time. So the next one, ba -ba -da -ba -da. so it starts the same three, three, oh, three, but now an A power chord. And so you have that open A power chord right there. Um, the way, you know, and there's also multiple guitars production going on. Uh, I'm doing it like this. Just know that is the same as same notes, same chord, same thing. Don't get too riled up about it, which one, but you can, if you want to do it the open A, that's all good. So check it out. So I'm going. So I'm just kind of grabbing that G power chord and sliding it to that. Or... And the reason I'm not doing it is because of the next move. That's why. So, A, G, A, G. I prefer the sound of the power chord sliding kind of Black Sabbath style. You know it's sad. So on the lyric, you know it's sad, is all C. You know it's sad. But, and then the but, word is in the open E, so and then chucky chuck, you know, muted.
the chunky rhythms, the gent, the genty rhythms are the same on that whole section. Uh, you know, da 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 da. So da 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 So the second time through there, there's n uh, you don't have to learn anything new, but the arrangement is a little different. So it's got the, uh, you know, you saw what I just did there, but it's got the, the main riff and it's got the, but then it's also got the, but it's shorter. It's, you play that drum fill with the muted, and then right into the verse, not the not riff number one, but the verse. You know, so that is what's different there. Um, and then all the forms the same, but then it does a little tag into what we would call the bridge section. So the little lick into the bridge comes from, uh, it's the E blues scale. And so it's O3 on the E string with palm muting. Open A string, first fret, open. Back to that third fret E. Into the A power chord. So what's going on there is you've got but then the other you know there's more than one guitar going on and it's a pattern of which is seven six five two for the a chord and then for that B flat, it's the third fret D. So, and then there's also a a little all palm muted little little scale line so let me show you that all right so since there's two guitars going on on that bridge you've got one so the other part is hitting a bass note on that seven six five to uh, open A, then three, one on the end, and it's B flat. And so two little palm muted licks. So for the A, you've got on the D string. So it's two, three, five, three, five, three, two. And then the second one, 
It was just a little bit different. Two, three, five, three, five, two, three, which is on that. First one. Second one. Like that. So during the guitar solo, you're playing the main riff. But then it does that. So that same lick we did earlier. Oh, three, oh, one, oh, three, oh. Into an A, you can do A power chord or A right here. And the soloing's over it, so this is just the rhythm part. So look at that. A G A A N N O N O. And so that's six six three six five five three five five. Three, three, four, four. to the E part of the chorus. All right, so that's really all the riffs that you need to know for the song. The arrangement, they add a couple little little things in there. Like for instance, uh, uh, you've got the main riff. They just do that one alternate blues lick. And then, of course, the... Another thing, that B flat, they just do at the final verse, they just do a little tag. Well, they do three of those instead of one. Uh, so you want to look out for that. And then also just at the very end, they do a... They hold it longer, drum fill, and that's it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for hanging out. Uh, also, I appreciate you subscribing here to the channel, and then I got a ton of great links below for you to check out as well. Thank you again. Hope to see you real soon.